forget the fillet like you guys mentioned so we just go fillet and we're going to click on this edge over here and the distance is going to be how much? 0. 0. 0.2 press ok and there you go you see how simple it was to add the fillet at the end and again I'm going to press save and now we're going to build the next piece so we're going to build the cylinder so let me close this and give me one second So now we're going to go make the next piece. So this is going to be the tutorial three. Again, I forgot to make the fillet on the previous one. You see how hard, it, uh, not hard, I opened it up. I clicked fillet and I redid it. So now we're going to go press new and we go to standard. Again, and again, uh, always in the same project folder. Press create. So now we have again our piece. So we're going to go start making our part. So we're going to go do a you could do two options here. You could go from sketch, make a circle, extrude, whatever you want, or we could use the option of the cylinder. So where is my cylinder box? My cylinder should be, I think I'm missing some things, but if I am missing any command here, guys, you could just go up here and just type in cylinder, like so. It's in 3D model. There right, we go. That's even easier. Okay, you can add it in. Again, if you're missing the button, just add it in and it's right here. Box, cylinder, sphere, torus, whatever you need. So we're going to go use the cylinder case. So using the cylinder, it's much easier because it's going to make us the, cir the circle and automatically extrude for us the numbers we want. So we're going to start again in the origin, X and Y. We're going to go from the center. Always try to go to the center of our origin. See, it locks into place click and I'm going to stretch it out to a 1.2 and now it's asking me what's my length we're going to use the distance so again I could do the midpoint option I could do one direction or whichever one you want I'm going to do again midpoint because I feel like doing midpoint and I'm going to type in 4 so now we have our cylinder place Correct, we have it done, we did the cylinder. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to make that same slot we did before for on the last piece. We're going to add like a little keyhole. So we're going to go to our sketch and we're going to get the front face. Okay, from there we're going to do what? Hold on one second. So we have this profile here. The next thing we're going to do like the exact same thing we did in the flange. We're going to click the profile and we're going to cut out the piece we need. So we're going to go do a sketch on the face, either the back or the front, and we're going to add like we've done before. We're going to go do a line. This time we're going to go to the top part. Make sure again you click, go down, across, up again, like so. Then what guys? We're going to go make sure we do it equal. You should get that habit of always wanting to do everything equal so it's nice and straight. Then we're going to put our dimensions. From here to here should be how much? One, uh, sorry, point one one eight. There we go. And our distance between the two should be point two three six. There we go. We have our piece already set up for us. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut that out at a distance of two point one six five using the same techniques we've done before. Once we've done it and it's fully constrained, we go to three D model and we go do extrude. We're going to go do cut. Distance we said is going to be 2.165. And if you notice, all I have to do is select my profile. And it's going to cut it out like so. Once that's done, we're going to press OK. And we have this piece cut out for our part. That was the fastest piece you're going to build. It's done. We go again, I like to do always make sure that I go back to the home view so that when I save the piece, I see exactly what I'm opening later on. I go do file, save as. Oh, I spelled flange wrong before. Crap. It's okay. I'll worry about that later. And we're going to call this one shaft. So this is actually an important thing I want to show you. See how I made a mistake with the file name before? Watch what happens if I try to change it without without the noticing watch I, I closed everything correct I'm gonna go back to my file so let's go Windows E 
over here. It was in my documents, I said. Under inventor. Under Oldham coupling, which is, this is my old one, so I'm going to delete this one. This is yesterday's. Right here. And I'm going to go change the name here. Look what happens when I change the name. Rename. And I push E. All right, it's fixed. Nothing wrong with it. Now, if I go back, open the project, and I click on it, do I have any issues? No. Why don't I have any issues yet? Because I have no assembly right now. If I would have had assembly and I changed the name later on, well, as soon as you open up the project, it's going to say file missing. Do you know where this file is? If I know that I changed the spelling, I could click flange and it's correct. But because I did it before the, the assembly was made, it saves the hassle in the long run. Good. So now let's go on to the next piece. Actually, this one's even easier. The next one we're going to build is the key. New file again. Standard. And this time here, again, we're going to make sure we have it open. If you forgot how we got this, we went to the drop down and we clicked it right over here. <coughs> on and off. We went down and we're going to use the box feature, right? The box feature. From here now, we're going to use the same numbers. So what's the, we're going to use which one, guys? What's our dimension? So we're going to choose what plane. What plane do you guys want to work on? Anyone? So I'm going to use, like we did before, I'm going to use the X and Y. Okay? <coughs> Let's go make it from the center. We're going to make a box that is equal to 0.236. Tab. 0.236. So it's a nice, clean box. We're going to extrude it in the opposite directions. A distance of how much? A distance of 2, right? So there's our nice piece. All right, any issues so far? No, it's a very simple one. The only issues you guys may have is when we try to use the, uh, what's the command called again? The draft. So watch. Now for the draft to work, we're going to go to use the draft option. Sorry about that. Let me just go back where I was. So now we have this piece over here. So now it's going to be the draft that we're going to need to do. So you're going to click on the draft option, which is under 3D model, which is here. Modify draft. This one here, we're going to go do the face. So what? how do we do it, guys? We're going to go use a fixed plane. So this is a fixed edge, fixed plane. So we're going to change the object over here to fixed plane. And then we're going to go put our distance of 2.5. And we're going to click on the actual piece. One, so we're going up. We want to go the opposite direction. So we're going to go do down. Like so. And now we're going down in one direction. All that's left to do is check the face that we want to move. So we're going to go to this face here. Oops. What the hell just happened there? This one here. This face here. Oh, so we're having some technical difficulties. Let's do it again. Let's cancel this again. Let's do it. So we have the piece here. It looks okay. Straight. Let's go again. Let's go do draft. Let's go do, like we did before, fixed plane. We have a distance of 2.5. And now we're going to go for the fixed plane. We're going to use this face here. There we go. And for the surface face, we're going to go click this face here. There we go. So what I did wrong is you need to click the first face as your reference. So again, we went, just pay attention. We went to, we made the box and everything. Then we went to the draft option. We switched it to fixed plane over here. And then for the first face, you're going to click the front face. And then for the faces, you're going to click the top one. If you notice, in this case here, we're going up one direction. We need to go down. We need to go in the opposite one. So we're going to use the flip it till we go down one. Understand? Because our piece is one, and we don't need to go bigger. We need to go smaller so it goes in. And as it goes in, it gets tighter and tighter. OK? So again. We press OK, and there's our draft piece. So it goes down one, it's one, point, uh, one angle. You guys told me the wrong angle before. So you guys told me the wrong draft angle. So we're going to go to Edit Feature, and it's actually going to be 1. There we go. That makes more sense. So if you look towards the right, our piece goes down. So again, how did I do it? Is I made the profile. I clicked on the draft button. I went to the fixed plane option over here. 
from there I change my number to 1 and then I click this front face first which is going to trigger this piece here and then for this one here which is the face we click on this face here and if it's going in the opposite direction we just use the arrow to flip it down so it goes like so once that's done we can hit the home, the home key again and hit the save and this one here is going to be called which piece? the key Okay, and we're going to save it. So the next video I'm going to be posting is about how to assemble it. So I'm going to stop it for now.